UIKit and Swift UI, they have differences in how you will kind of design your UI code and how you transition data between the views and how you're going to define your view hierarchy. But in the whole architecture of your application, it shouldn't be a big difference, right? For example, we have a series here on YouTube called Professional iOS Engineering that we started in 2017 before SwiftUI existed. And we yeah. wrote a game. It was a quiz app. I don't know if you've seen it. No, no. So we yeah. built a quiz app and we followed some architectural patterns to decouple logic from the UI. Now, Ada, as soon as they introduced SwiftUI, we were able to just swap the UI without changing any of the logic. So I recommend you watch this series. And this is pretty much what I'm going to recommend to you today. That you separate your logic from the UI framework. Thus, when the UI framework changes, it's easy to just swap the UI and you maintain the same logic. So this means that your logic side shouldn't implement observable object. It shouldn't be coupled with any thing that is specific to SwiftUI. Mm. But thus, you can test it in isolation. You can develop it and maintain the logic separate from the views. So the simplest logical separation, they will give you a lot of benefits. Move logic out of the views, regardless if you're using SwiftUI or UIKit.